Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a cooking video to celebrate the upcoming holiday called Mabin. Mabin is the celebration of the autumn equinox. It falls on September 21st. It's kind of um, a pagan Thanksgiving sort of thing if you want to put it into extremely basic um, terms. It's a really good time to kind of immersing yourself in all of the lovely autumn things that are available to us every year. Now is a really really good time to use any food that you've grown yourself in your cooking. It's a really good time to dry your own herbs so you can use them. You can do stuff like cleaning out your room and getting rid of anything that you've hoarded but don't actually need anymore. I know this is something that I tend to do a lot and I accumulate all these things that I don't need and it kind of clutters my mind so it's really good to just go through everything and really make sure that I'm only keeping what I need and trying to give away anything that can still be used to charity. It's a really good time to donate food to any homeless charities because now it's getting really cold. People are still on the streets and they don't have enough protection for them, they don't get enough food. Um, so now it's a really important time to do any work like that that you want to get involved in. And yeah, it's just a really good time as well to resolve any kind of problems or conflicts that you might be having with people or in your family. So in the more winter months, um, you can really practice letting go of things that aren't serving you and you don't have all these things still in your mind that aren't doing you any good. So yeah, that's kind of the basics of what Mabin is. It's one of my favourite holidays and most of the correspondences are literally everything you just see around you. So like one of the main things right now that um, is associated with Mabin and Samhain is pumpkin, cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, potatoes, carrots, tomatoes, anything kind of that would come up around this time. Yeah, I'm really excited to share my recipe with you. In the process, I'm also going to be showing you very small ways to implement some kitchen magic into your cooking to kind of show you how to intentionalize your food a bit more and be more mindful about what you're doing. I personally find that doing any sort of kitchen magic just really grounds me and I'm able to really appreciate the food that I have because we're kind of accustomed to just consume and consume food and products and like clothes and everything and this is now a really good time to just slow down and not buy anything new and really appreciate what you already have and the stuff that you can maybe repurpose so that's kind of what um this whole holiday is about so now i'm gonna go down to the shop to get all the ingredients that I need and then I'll be right back and we can start cooking. So I've cut all of the green onion, I forgot the name, and now I'm just cutting up the garlic and I'm going to soak about a cup of cashews in boiling water for about an hour. And this is going to make the cashew sauce that I'm going to put on top of the soup at the end. Now I've prepared all the stuff I'm going to put into the soup. And I have the cans over here. And currently I'm frying um, the spring onion, pine nuts, garlic and pumpkin seeds. And I'm going to wait for them to sauté a bit. And then I'm going to add the coconut milk and the uh, tomatoes. I'll also add 
everything that's in here and then let it simmer for about 25 to 30 minutes. I've now added the two cans of tomatoes, um, one can of coconut milk and I added about two cups of vegetable stock as well because it um, needed a bit more volume. And now it's come to a boil so I'm gonna add all of my ingredients that are in here. I have coriander, cherry tomatoes, carrots and just like herbs like oregano, parsley, thyme um, and all sorts. So I'm gonna add that in now. I'm gonna wait for this to boil and then I'll put it on a low heat for about 20 to 25 minutes. So right now is the perfect time to do some kitchen magic. You basically just envision energy from your crown going down to your heart and from the ground up through your feet to your heart and then from your heart it goes into your fingertips and I'm going to envision the energy of whatever intention I have so for this one I'm gonna put I feel cozy, homely, positive, relaxed and full of love so I'm just spinning it in a clockwise direction because um, when you spin it in this direction it's good for manifesting and bringing uh, things into your life and if you wanted to um, banish anything then you would do it anti-clockwise but it's not advised to do anti-clockwise when cooking food um, because it can go slightly more wrong um, when you ingest things that you want to banish if you know what I mean so it's generally um, only to bring in stuff into your life um, so I'm just doing that now So I felt the energy from my arm, so I know that it's worked, um, and I kind of get pins and needles type kind of kind of goosebumps all over my body when I know that I've um, conjured a certain amount of energy through my body. So I've just experienced that, so I know that it's worked. And now everything seems to be boiling so I'm going to lower the heat. It's now it's on five. So now it's covered and I'm going to set a timer for 25 minutes and then check on it every now and again, stir it a little bit um, and yeah, then I will show you what to do next. So the cashews now have soaked for about an hour so I'm going to go ahead and blend them. It should be a 1 to 1 cashew to water ratio um, but I'm going to pour out some of the water first just to make sure that I don't dilute it too much and then I'll just keep adding as much water as needed for the right consistency. After about 25 minutes I just took the soup off the heat and waited for it to cool a little bit and then I blended um, how much soup I wanted that evening um, and just decorated it um, with the cashew sauce and it all came together so perfectly amazing to celebrate Mabon with or generally just autumn 
um and yeah that is the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye